हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते एज यू ऑल नो आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड माय हस्बैंड माय को होस्ट अजय प्रकाश इज हियर विद मी इन द चैट हेलो अजय हेलो फोक्स गुड मॉर्निंग और गुड इवनिंग एंड हैप्पी दशहरा टू यू टू सो टुडे वी ऑल आर हियर फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल जैन डूडल पैटर्न and the name of this composition is genesis as you can see we are going to work on a 6 inch by 6 inch square area we need a black marker pen a pencil and some blending device either the q tip earbud or any tissue paper cotton ball or any blending stump i'm going to work on a 6 inch by 6 inch pre cut square sheet this one this is called the artist style it's a pre cut made for the pattern drawing and the pen i'm using is a micron pigma sakura pen it's a black marker pen with the archival ink today i'm going to use the prisma color ebony pencil this is a very dark pencil but you know any pencil would work any school pencil graphite pencil whatever you have you can use that and if you want to use any of the color pencils you can definitely go for it and you can use any colors any marker pens or whatever material you have so again before we start this is our today's pattern and time to start i hope everybody is ready and before i start i want to give a big shout out to aditi because she is working today with her sisters and i really feel very happy when uh, you join the session as a family with your parents sometimes mother and daughter and some friends and some sisters so it's really nice and i was just reading right now that i think lavina is with her sisters so it's really very uh, good that when you uh, join the session uh, with your whole group as a family it's awesome and don't forget to submit all of your work guys okay with you with your sisters and friends so let's start so guys if if you use any like imaginary line and divide your whole page into three sections like suppose two lines here vertical and two lines horizontal so you will get four crossings right four crossovers so this is the point where i'm keeping my finger so this is the top left corner so it's not actually into the corner it's here let me just draw it roughly for you here so suppose if you see here in the page and let me use this pencil if suppose you divide it so don't do this one i'm just giving you an idea what i'm saying so if you divide your page into these with two imaginary lines so this is the point i'm talking about the top left point out of these four crossings so we are going to work in this point this is called the one third rule so we are using that one third rule of the principles of design and we are going to work here i'm going to work directly with the pen because today's pattern is absolutely organic pattern if your petals are little bigger smaller not absolutely in the shape it is absolutely fine it will look pretty like yesterday we worked on the mandala this one in this one we really need particular you know angle and area so we used our compass and pencil and lot of guidelines but in our zendudal pattern i prefer not to use the guidelines as much as we need in the mandala because we really want it to be grow organically okay enjoy the process keep drawing i'm drawing from here look here carefully i'm just focusing more so here i'm going to draw six petals so every petal i'm starting with kind of this v shape 2 3 4 5 6 If you still want you can use your pencil and you can first trace all this with the pencil and then you can retrace it with the pen that is also absolutely okay this is the first step to start with i drew six 
triangular shape these are the base of the petals or the base of the triangles which we are starting yes kanak i am repeating again so start working from this top left side of your paper as you can see and draw these six triangles kind of the circular triangles and now we are going to complete these petals with beautiful rounded triangular pattern and don't worry guys if these all petals are not looking similar actually this is actually what we want we are not making very geometrical kind of pattern we are making very organic design and it looks pretty if they are not absolutely same size if they are little bit varying with each other they will look prettier so this is our first step to draw the flower kind of shape with six petals again guys if you want please use pencil and then retrace it with the pens because if you first start with the pencil you can easily fix if you think it's not coming along well shall i start the second step is everybody done till here do you guys want to write down in the chat if you guys are done till here so that i can start the next step with you guys done thank you hirul awesome okay so honey i'm waiting done thank you kanak and yes guys please write down one or two if you are drawing along with me write down one and if you are just enjoying watching this video write down two and thank you for subscribing pallavi i appreciate it awesome beautiful thank you for your feedback guys hi manjula now guys you see where we are getting these flat side of these triangle we are going to work over these triangle and we are going to make the triangular shape in the opposite direction you see like that And as I told you earlier, it is absolutely okay if your triangles are a little bigger, little smaller, wider, absolutely fine. So this is the next step. I'm again waiting for you for 30 seconds to complete the next step. Complete all these six petals. I'm waiting for you guys. Thank you, Sarita. Okay. Now, we are going to draw two petals in between. So, what are we going to do? Look here carefully. Like, suppose I'm just marking one here and one here. So we are going to draw one triangle here and one triangle here. Here, if you want, you can just draw one petal. If you think you have the less space, but if you have enough space, you can definitely draw two triangles. Like that. And they look beautiful if they all are into the rounded shape. I mean the corners if you try to keep the corners rounded then they will make beautiful pattern Hi 
and here you go it's looking so beautiful gem style right now again I'm waiting for 30 more seconds to complete all these beautiful rounded triangle I love this design and I really want to tell you guys that uh, uncountable kind of uh, compositions we have made in our all past four or five months all sessions and this particular pattern I'm doing it first time and that's the fun of the pattern drawing that we there are so many so many styles designs variations that you always feel that newness and that excitement in your all pattern now shall I go ahead awesome thank you Krishna now please look carefully as we always say pattern drawing is all about the repetition so now we are going to repeat the same style of filling all these triangular shape how we are going to do we are going to draw these three curvy lines one two and three okay and then we are going to draw one beautiful circle in the center and we are going to fill this rest of the area but not the circle that's how we are going to decorate our all these gems how look here again join from one corner to other corner with this rounded line there are three corners so we are going to draw these three lines then a center into the the circle into the center and then fill all these negative spaces and we are going to repeat the same thing in all the gems So draw these curvy lines, draw these curvy lines and keep drawing that. So every Friday we do a spiral art, every Saturday we draw mandalas and every Sunday we draw these kind of abstract zen doodle pattern. All three are the pattern drawing, still all three are very different. And approach of drawing in all three is absolutely different but I must tell you the effect is pretty much similar they all three are the very uh, you know very relaxing art and uh, when I did my art therapy course I learned about that they all three give the same uh, meditative effect maybe a little bit less or more but they all are pretty much similar for me I feel that I did meditation when I do any kind of pattern drawing I enjoyed them a lot and what is the main reason for that relaxing feeling is that it's a repeated pattern drawing you keep repeating the same thing again and again and again but still you are full focused so that's why you reach to that mental state that gives you the feeling of joy and relax. Roshali says uh, mine is not a circle, it looks like an oval. It's okay. That's fine. Oval is also uh, a good shape. So, And even if you are not achieving any circle and oval, any abstractish pattern, then also it's okay. I would love to see your final design, Rushali. Don't forget to submit your work once you are done completing your work at the Art Corner channel at Discord. And you will see other patterns also there. So in my these Friday, Saturday, Sunday sessions, we generally work on six inch by six inch square paper in every single class and uh, although yesterday we used you know dotting a little bit of these white dots with the 
uh, with the white acrylic paint but uh, if you really want to learn more intricate mandalas more intricate patterns of the zen doodle and i will show you some of them those intricate design uh, especially the those three designs which uh, have been like uh, whose videos are going to be you know unlocked you can unlock the video of those three designs in november at my patreon so if you want to see the intricate mandalas intricate zen doodle you can unlock the videos at my patreon and once you unlock the november videos you will see all the past videos also they all will be available to you so once let me finish this one then i'll show you what i'm talking about so as soon as you guys are done with these decoration inside the triangle please write down in the chat and as i always say in any kind of pattern drawing drawing is important as well as the shading at the last after the drawing gives the life to your drawing so when we do shading in between in these pattern it will bring like you know it will take our drawing to the another level thank you for subscribing neha thank you for subscribing and i want to say everybody whoever is here with me right now if you have not subscribed me yet please leave the chat and subscribe my channel so it's just free for you but it will help me grow my channel and it will help me uh, running these kind of uh, these kind of uh, videos these kind of live sessions in, in that way you can keep encouraging me and you will not leave any of my live session you will not forget because if you subscribe my channel youtube will send you notification and in that way you will never miss any of my live sessions as well as you will get notification if i unload upload any of my videos so i'm done decorating all the triangles how about you guys no problem h craft c finest no problem and you are my latest uh patreon at patreon.com so as you are here let me just show you and to other uh, so if you subscribe if you uh, pledge with me at the patreon.com at my patreon you can unlock five videos this will be on the first of november this mandala first sunday of the november then this will be in the two parts on the second sunday and the third sunday of the november it's a mixed media mandala and this is a gem zen doodle kind of and you know very very glossy finished zen doodle this is again into the two parts for the fourth and the fifth sunday of the november so these are the three uh, projects you can unlock their videos in november at my patreon and as well as guys if you subscribe pledge at patreon you can unlock the videos of all these mandalas so take a look quickly so that we can resume these are some of the mandalas they all are little intricate with little different kind of materials you can unlock all these mandalas you can see all these different and many more and some of the dot paintings and acrylic painting sessions and they all will be unlocked for you okay guys so now let's start everybody is done till here okay look carefully now from here we are going to draw some strands which are extending towards the corner of our page 
so from here like we are talking about this first top corner and it will be going all the way it is wider from the outside and kind of starting from here then leave next section start from here leave one section then start from the next section then again leave one section start from this section and let it be very organically flowing leave one section then start from this section like this and let us do one more here that's all so we have made all these strands flowing from our uh, this beautiful gem pattern which we made and now again if you guys want you can use ruler if you want you can use pencils otherwise you can exactly copy the way I'm doing we are going to draw one border kind of thing so starting from here and it will stop when it's touching and like it's kind of coming till here and I will start from here now yeah, let's wait about 30 seconds I think some people want to catch up okay okay I'm waiting take your time take your time guys no worries So this is the pattern which we are drawing right now guys and we have already worked on this whole area now we are working on this and we have worked all these strands now we are working on the border first Oops. so we are going to make the border here If you want to draw this border freehand, you can draw freehand. If you want to draw this border with the ruler, help of ruler, you can take help from the ruler, no problem. And I would love to stop here actually, just at this much, yes. And then. This double line of the border please don't draw over the strands that's why we drew the strands first it's okay if you're and then we'll draw a little bit more you know thick border style here so we are actually going to draw four lines so that's why I asked you if you want you can use the ruler I have no problem but I would love to go freehand and one more parallel line to this tiny parallel line As I told you into the very beginning that we are doing a very organic shape so I'm not looking for very geometrical figure and very you know uh, aligned that we use that we did yesterday in our mandala drawing that I told you earlier today I really want it to be very organic very free flow and just uh, enjoy the process keep drawing and believe me when you are done it will look pretty I hope everybody is done till here. Hi Suyasha.
Shall I go ahead? Now we are going to work in this inside areas guys okay and make sure we are not going to draw over these strands which are growing and flowing out from this gem or this genesis kind of the style and that's the name of our today's uh, this composition so we are going to work in these leftover areas okay it's okay suyesha you can enjoy watching so we are going to draw few you know rose flower kind of the pattern let me show you these ones okay so this pattern we have drawn i think two times in our other two designs in different variation so if you have already worked with me in those patterns you already know how to draw that but if you haven't worked with but worked with me in those two patterns you can easily draw it with me right now so we are starting from this point and we are going to draw you know one spiral kind of circle let me focus it more and in this circle we are going to give little these bump at some places okay better is it better Ajay? Yes, not, from not? Yes. fine okay <laughs> Try to draw these kind of you know wavyish, curvyish line. Don't draw very straight kind of line, and keep drawing these bumps. And you see, when we are reaching to this line, just to stop here, because we are not going to draw over these strands. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting so honey for 30 seconds. Take your time. And we keep on growing this whatever size we want. Not very very big, not very small. We are just trying to cover up little this area. As I always say in Zen Doodle drawing, there are no rules. Whatever pattern or drawing you are doing is your own beautiful original abstract artwork. So just enjoy your pattern drawing. And in every line we keep giving these kind of humps, these kind of bumpy fillings and let's make a few more and if I want like we can add a little bit here, some part of it as if it's coming to this area also so you can decide how you want to extend your pattern it's absolutely your choice how you want to extend it is absolutely your choice I think this will be my last circle for this one for this rose I mean 
some people are asking for the rose markings again as to how you started with them yeah i'm going to i'm going to draw one more rose very quick uh, here again so you can see how i started it okay i'm kind of done with this one so this one rose is done and I'm going to draw one more rose. Let me draw one rose here. Okay, I'm drawing it here so that you know you it's a, a, a very open space so you can see here. So whoever wants to see me again how to draw the rose, please look again. We are going to start with one dot and this one spiral curvy line. This is the first step. Okay, and after every step I'm going to take away my hand so that you can see clearly. After that, we are going to give little these humps, wavy humps, like that. Then we are going to continue over this wavy spiral, just one spiral at a time. And after again that spiral, so you see here is the hump. So over the hump, we are not going to draw the hump. Here in this line, there is the flat line, so we are going to draw one hump here. Like this we can draw a little hump here and then we can retrace it again now we can draw one hump here so that's how we are going to decide our these patterns is it clear now guys And we try to, you know, stay into the circular pattern and it is okay if it is going a little bit off circle and a little bit uh, ovalish style. Just try to be in the circular but uh, let it grow whatever shape it's going, it's fine. Like that. And every time we keep stopping our spiral and we first make these petals or these humps and then again we draw our squiggly circular line so these are basically spirals and after every spiral we keep giving little bit of these decorations And try to let you know don't leave a lot of space in between the lines try to be as close as possible it will look prettier uh, not to touch but not give too much space and keep drawing until your heart desires as big small there is no rule as I always say in Zen Doodle So I think I'll stop here for this flower and I will make one more small flower maybe somewhere here near this flower maybe at this corner okay and it will like kind of come in this area so first decide with your imaginary line what is the position and what the area you are going to cover as you see I'm just making a circle in the air so this is the area which I'm talking about so here is the center I'm drawing one more flower here
and once we are done with our all the flowers then we'll we'll move forward to the next pattern I remember in my first pattern where we drew these kind of rose flower and some of the submissions I saw they used red color for the rose flowers and beautiful pink colors so it's absolutely your choice guys at the end if you want you can use red colors or some other colors to fill these white areas and whatever you do don't forget to submit your work I would love to see your submissions and here I am extending this to the other side of these strands to give it a little bit more dimension here. So we're touching to the other anything just to stop there don't draw over any other pattern just stop there and start from the next area so it will give the 3d ish style like the overlapping and when you show the overlapping it gives the sense of depth and the third dimension to your artwork so I'm drawing one more layer here guys and that will be my last layer of this flower. And as you see when it's touching to the flower I'm just stopping here. When it's touching to the border I'm stopping here. Touching to the strand I'm stopping there. So that's how you can create that uh, illusion of depth. oops my phone just give me a second guys it seems like that my mm, it's not restarting not restarting here just give me a second guys we are setting it up it seems like there is some glitch in the Wi-Fi in my mobile that's that I'm using for my art table to show you guys so my co-host is setting it up yes we did it yeah thank you okay so now we are just going to draw here also you know a very small uh, flower just these two flowers and then we'll be done with like the rose flower in this inside section here so like here I'm going to draw one So 
it will be i know difficult to draw in this smaller pattern but it will create a beautiful uh, sense of like depth when you do like that so and then let's just quickly make two more maybe lines here and we can add few of the Maybe we can just keep it like that here and one more very small flower. So we are just placing them randomly, okay? It's not hard and fast rule if they are little big, small, up and down. Don't worry. We are going to fill this whole space with few patterns and we are going to set them up together and they all go together very well. So if you have more space or less space, don't worry about it. We are going to fill the whole, the, all the space. And as I say, pattern drawing is all about the repetition. So we keep on repeating the same kind of style, same kind of pattern a lot of times. And that is the fun of these kind of drawing. So now after this, okay, I'm going a bit slow, Kanak, no problem. I'm waiting for 30 seconds, guys. Please complete. Uh, I did one, two, three, four, five flowers. And maybe we do one or two more small flowers here in the top at the last. So, but before that, I would like you to complete this inner sections, complete with the flower. And I'm looking at the chat. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done till here. And then we all will resume together. I'm waiting for you. Thank you, Sarita. Thank you, Rishali. I'm glad that you like the pattern. Thank you, Shubhi. Thank you for your feedback guys because I can't see you I can't see you working right now I can see your work once you submit after you are done and I can see you right now with your feedback so I highly appreciate it that when you submit your feedback when you write down in the chat thank you Pasna now guys we are going to draw the different one new pattern please look carefully it's a very easy pattern first time drawing here so that it will be very easy for you to understand like I'm going to draw on this strand like this this is the first step in here I'm just focusing it so that you can see it clearly after that we are going to draw one line which is going like that and it's coming all the way like this and we keep on drawing this and wherever any other pattern is coming we will stop there and again there is no hard and fast rule you can draw four circles five circles six circles or you can stop at just three rounds depending on the place depending on whatever looks good to you you can do like that 
so this is like kind of the one style and here you see suppose I'm doing one here like that and I'm so we have to keep filling our this whole space with the flowers with these beautiful twig styles or beautiful vines and as I say if they are touching to other pattern just to stop there please don't override and you can draw these patterns as big as small as you want And some of these tiny holes we are going to just make these you know fish scale kind of the pattern or maybe little humps we call them so we are going to we call them generally fillers so wherever we get little tiny space and we really need to fill it because our composition demands it so we use some fillers there and fillers are of various kinds it depends on our pattern what kind of filler suits or goes with that design we choose fillers accordingly right so suppose you see here I'm again making this twig pattern So keep making your design, keep filling this area. Uh, Shruti says what have you drawn the big ball shaped like? Not sure what you mean by uh, Are you asking about this one? These are the few kind of gem style of thing. We are going to do shading in between then they will give us a beautiful uh, flowerish kind of look. These are basically like this is the main uh, genesis style where everything is flowing and coming out from it that's what the idea of this whole composition which we are making so i hope you get the answer you are asking about that after this pattern we are going to work on the border first and then we'll work on this top right corner top left corner I'm sorry so it will be coming like maybe here and the rest we can fill it with our Fillers. in any direction in anywhere as I say no rule just keep enjoy the drawing right I'm just keeping it this way so that you can see the whole pattern and I need not to keep my hand on the pattern I just twisted it around I'm trying to draw as slow as possible so that you guys can see my all strokes easily whenever other pattern is coming just stop there beautiful and let's make one here so we keep drawing the same pattern so we we are just drawing the three patterns inside this box either the rows 
or the these twigs or these fish scale kind of the fillers and these are the names which i am giving them you can give them whatever name you want basically they all are the abstract pattern they all go together very well that's why i choose them in this composition there are thousands and lakhs and like unlimited kind of the abstract pattern you can use the only thing we take care of like what pattern goes well with each other right and we love to give names we try we love to associate the pattern with our real life things and objects but basically they all are the very abstract pattern random pattern try to use this pattern and fill as much area as you can still if you can't fill fill it use these fillers so maximum biggest area we filled with the flower then we filled the rest bigger area with all these beautiful twigs and then these how to know about more patterns and which will go with which that i try if i show you my like the rough notebook or the copy i keep trying uh, various times to decide one composition it takes time uh, because uh, some pattern like i decide in my mind it should go better but sometimes when i try on the rough notebook like when i practicing the final composition and i really don't uh, like that appreciate it i try to uh, i always take care of you know principles of designs like i want the variety in my composition as well as it should be balanced and harmony should be there and so if you take care of all those principles of design in your composition you will be able to understand very quick and uh, very well that which pattern will go with other pattern that's how i decide that's why that's my trick is when i decide any composition not only these composition i'm talking about all the compositions which i draw in my all skill based class in my all graphite drawing in all uh, my color pencil artwork if you see my other compositions if you see my other uh, skill based class artwork i always take care of the uh, principles of design i take care of the balance harmony movement and uh, all those concept they all should go very well they should go along with each other then only your composition looks pretty i tried that and i'm glad that you like it <laughs> suhani is asking if you could show the rough notebook <laughs> uh, rushali is asking to see the final picture oh yes final picture is here and i'm afraid i can show you the rough notebook <laughs> but that's how i that this is the final one one fine day i'll show you okay okay so we are done with this inside of our box now we are going to work in the border and then we are going to work in this corner and then few final finishings yay so for the borders guys look very carefully it's very simple what we are going to do in the border let's start from the one section from here top and then we'll go like that okay so it's very very easy we are going to start from the center i hope you guys can see it like this and we keep on drawing this line from the center little curvy from the both side and this pattern will look much much prettier when we do the shading in the both corners
Okay, sure. There's more people asking to see the rough book. <laughs> now I'm thinking, why should I tell it? And the same thing I did with this, you know, those rough drafts of my spiral strings. And now I have so many requests to share that string sheet that I have decided to share it, although that was a very rough uh, kind of thing. Like that, I just made it for myself, just for my own reference. But I shared with you, and now I am getting so many requests to share it with you all. So, uh, no worries. I'll show you guys, okay? And I'm thinking how to do about here. So what I'm doing here, I'm just stopping here. And this will go here. complete your whole border with the same design and if any other pattern is covering your border just to stop there and then keep starting where it's kind of you can see that and here you go now guys I'm making these lines you know these strands which are coming out a little thicker here as they are going out to give them a little bit more dimension here because these are looking yes like that so you see the difference like this one is looking much uh, neater and prettier in that way So just make it little thick as it's ending here. So these are the final finishings that make your work, you know, and uh, much prettier and take it to the another level. These small things make a big difference. If you want you can use little thicker pen for doing these thick lines oh my god something is happening today guys with my Wi-Fi I'm setting it up again and till that time you guys can keep continue working and you can give a little weight to the these strand lines which are coming oops
so like that I make make all these lines a little bit thicker from the corner and here we go now we are left with this top left corner of our paper with the drawing and after that drawing the most important part is the shading right so wherever you fill this make sure you don't see any white paper is showing up shall i start working on this top left corner before i start working on this top left corner i really want to give shout out to whoever have submitted your work on discord yesterday in uh, the yesterday in the discord in art corner and i want to see oh abnita you are doing half that's so nice look abnita is submitting her half of the work in the uh, art corner this is what we did yesterday as i showed you this pattern which we did yesterday and big shout out to rohini neeta music noise music novice is doing some digital art shanti she tried beautiful different colors dhruti and this shilpa the name is the puppy curious shilpa and uh, lady longfoot and a big shout out to mamta that she added her own element of these beautiful flowers in the corner and abhi abhijanya beautiful and shruti rathi this is what we did day before yesterday so that's how you guys can submit your work in the art corner and a really big shout out to anvita who is submitting her work in progress so that's the uh there's the discord guys now let's start working on this top left corner so for the top left corner we are going to again repeat the same thing that's going out of the box but the same pattern right and so i just keep it like that so that you guys can see the whole pattern and i need not to keep my hand over my work okay so here we are going to draw first same let them flow any direction guys don't be afraid that it has to be in the same direction it has to be similar as mine please don't compare your work with my work please don't judge your work once you are in the halfway through just keep enjoying the process and do as much as you can here we are not drawing for any competition we are not drawing for any uh, you know exam we are just drawing for our fun for our relaxation for learning some new skills for spending our this hour in creativity and to get some beautiful relaxing meditative effect and i hope you all get it and here in this area you know let's just fill this area with this beautiful touch of the rose flower tiny space but it will create a big impact this much here we can draw our these fillers and let's draw one more here mm. 
and when you stop and start again it it gives sense of you know that depth so take care of this and use that area wisely when you do the shading shading will enhance the impact fill rest of the area with the fillers where you think now you cannot draw more just fill that area now here i'm going to draw a beautiful one more flower so decide where you want to draw the flower how many petals you want to draw and when you think now you cannot draw anything just use the filler this much is enough and then one more here this twig I hope you guys can see the whole pattern sometimes while drawing I keep on you know shifting the place and here you go now there are there is just last final step of the drawing is left are you guys done till here do you guys want me to wait for the last drawing the last pattern drawing that are few bubbles kind of the thing so i'm waiting for you guys i'm looking at the chat please write down when you guys are done till here i'm waiting here take your time let me know when you guys are done till here and then we will draw those some few bubble last pattern drawing and then we'll do the shading i'm waiting aditi take your time so okay shruti so there are various ways to get about to get to know about the materials like in my discord there is a separate channel that's called the material list you can get all the material list of all the classes which we do with including their amazon links that's the one way to get it other way on my facebook page you can uh, see the event of all these sessions and in the event in the description i always put the material list the third thing is youtube video which you are watching right now and if you see the description of that video you will see the material list there too so all three places i put the material list still if you don't get it you can just message me in the discord after the session and i'll give you material list there too separately i hope that helps awesome now guys you see where our these little strands are going out of this box so we are just going to draw these few circle shapes which we are calling bubbles and they are supposed to be in different uh, different sizes they can be big they can be small they are supposed to be placed very randomly not in the geometrical manner just take care of that we are not placing them in uh, like big small and like in any one any particular order they are supposed to be placed very random order okay now 
they can be more they can be uh, less it's okay here I'm just placing them around it here I'm placing them it's kind of flowing here like that and here let me put one two three four here and here is one more thing is hanging with a one big circle a small circle a small circle a small circle a small circle dot and little two triangle like the bow and we can make this two one big circle Ta-da! We are done with the drawing and now it's the time for the shading, guys. I hope you guys enjoy drawing with me. Now, let's grab our pencil. I'm using the Prismacolor Ebony pencil. You can use any pencil, whatever school pencil or any graphite pencil you have. Before I draw, I would like to finish it off here. I can see some half opening. So, I'm just drawing a few bubbles here that's it we should not leave any area like openish kind of pattern so now you see the both side of our these borders that's the first area where I would like all of you to lay down the graphite alongside with the border of our both side of the borders is the first area where I would like everybody to lay down the graphite after that what happened oh third time in a row I'm sorry guys but you can hear me, you can see me, and you know this time I'm laying down the graphite alongside the border and I'll not do, uh, I'll not go for the second step after that. I'll just stop after laying down the graphite at the both sides of the border and I'm done till here, I'm waiting. Okay. Where is it go? What's happening here? Why it's not? Oh. No, it's working. Okay, so now here you go. Oops. Okay nice so i lay down the graphite at the both corner guys okay and sorry for that trouble today and after this i'm laying down the graphite the inside box area here okay inside box area that's the second area where i'm laying down the graphite So first we are laying down graphite everywhere and then we'll use our q-tip or the blending stump to give them blending and shading. So that is the second thing. So I have laid down graphite two places. One in the border, second inside the box. Now third near these uh, strands which are going out and we will stop till here. Stop near the will not we are not doing shading outside of the box okay we are just doing shading till inside till the box or till the frame you can say so this is the third area where we are laying down the graphite after that we will use our q 
Q-tip. Our Q-tip will carry a lot of graphite while blending them and we'll use that Q-tip for the soft blending in our this main flower or the main gem pattern. After this, I'm grabbing my this Q-tip and I'm starting with the border of blending the border as well as blending the sides of the and don't worry if it is going in we need to clean that up okay guys and it is just the graphite pencil so we can easily clean that up so make sure that it's not going inside uh, the place where it's not supposed to be and if it is going it's just the graphite pencil we can easily get rid of it so I'm blending all three things together as I'm coming down as you see in the border inside the box as well as alongside the these strands which are going out from the gem pattern If it is coming over these white lines where we don't really want the graphite we'll just clean that up <laughs> no I haven't done any course for such drawing I just love doing pattern drawing since my childhood I love doing mandala art pattern drawing yeah why not and in November I'm doing my CZT course so then I will be a certified Zentangle teacher and yeah then you can say that yes I learned it in a, like in the formal manner but uh, yeah mainly I just did it on my own but in after the November I will be CZT so I can teach you uh, based on the Zentangle uh, style. So as you see, I'm using my razor and I'm cleaning. So I might start after the November some based on the Zentangle style classes, just uh, based on that separately. So you will get to know about all that in the Discord in November, in the mid of November. Now guys, you see, uh, my this uh, q-tip is carrying the graphite and this graphite I'm going to use to do the soft blending in this pet in this uh, Main pattern look carefully. It's very very easy. I'm just going to make this circle around here That's it leaving the space into the center circle around here Circle around here so that will combine this whole pattern and make it a one beautiful Makes sense does it change the whole pattern right it's looking prettier and one more thing which i'm going to do with this alongside with this pattern i'm going to just rub it down but i'm sorry not on the strand but alongside with this i would really like to give this shadow to this pattern to bring it up and 
to give it more like beauty do you think do you see now it's kind of brightening up and it's coming forward and wherever these twigs are and they are kind of turning in here so just give a little bit of the shading here that it's going in like very soft blending in this pattern wherever it is turning in so these are the soft blendings they really uh, you know make a lot of difference in our work and the cleanliness like you see here in this strand it's the coming some of the graphite so please clean that that really make a lot of difference in your artwork and now we are kind of done the most important part is the last part as you all know if you want to write down in the chat let's see what is the last part and the most important part of any kind of pattern drawing either we are doing the spiral art or the zentangle these kind of zen doodle or any uh, mandala art What do we do at the last? Yes, praise and sign Kanak. Absolutely true. Now it's the time to sign and praise. And if you guys want, you can add colors in your artwork. Let me show you a few examples of colors like you see in this one. I have used graphite pencil everywhere and then we used colored also. So you can use colors. Let me show you a few more examples I might have here. Like you see this one. This is the colored version of this one this pattern this is the colored version of this pattern this pattern colored version of this pattern so you can add color to any of your pattern so if you want you can add colors it's absolutely your choice if you want to keep it classic you can keep it like this way and now let's sign and date today's date is 25th october right 10 25th 20 once again happy dashera whoever celebrates it and time to praise good job nidhi prakash you made beautiful abstract pattern and time to say good words to yourself say aloud your name say some good words to yourself and to your artwork and have a good rest of your weekend and see you next week friday for the fridays for the uh, spiral art Saturday is for the mandala and Sunday is for the Zen Doodle Art. See you. Bye.